I am William Campos. I am a certified grade checker. Being certified means I can read an engineer's rule, set up a transit to level, and do grade checking. I am going to show you the grade checking process. It is done in six steps. Step number one, establish a benchmark. We have our benchmark right here. Number two, select points of interest. We have point one, point two, and point three over here. Number three, we set up our transit to level, which is over here and is already level. Number four, we determine the height of instrument, take readings, and very high, verify the height of instrument. So our benchmark is about 3.45. Our first point of interest reading, it is 8.20. Our number two point of interest is 230, and our number three point of interest is 4.0. And we go back to the benchmark just to verify to make sure nothing has moved and we still set. It's already, it's, it's at 345. Now we do the math to determine if we have to cut or we have to fill. There's two rules on that. If the reading is more than the high of in instrument, we fill. If the reading is less than the height of instrument, we cut. Then we do the math. So our point of interest, number one, our reading is 820. And our height of instrument is 345. And our reading, it's more. So on this occasion, we're going to have to fill. We do the math, and we have to fill 4.75 feet. Point number two, our height of instrument is 3.45, and our reading is 2.30. On this particular number two, we're going to have to cut because the reading is less than the point, than the height of instrument. So on this one we cut. And our number three, our reading is 4.00. And the height of instrument is 3.45. Since our reading is higher, then we have to fill. And we gotta put 0 0.55 feet. And last, we communicate either on stakes or other means. Thank you.